Hey everyone, today we're talking about something that affects all of us, whether we realize it or not, oil prices. You've probably noticed how gas prices fluctuate, but have you ever wondered why it happens and how it affects the broader economy? Oil is literally the fuel that drives our economy, and when its price changes, it creates a ripple effect, kind of like knocking over the first domino in a long chain. But how exactly does that work? And what are the real consequences of rising or falling oil prices? In this video, we're going to break it all down, from how oil prices are set to how they influence inflation, consumer spending, global trade, and even entire economies. So, let's get started. First things first. How are oil prices actually set? It's not just random. Oil prices are determined by a combination of global supply and demand, political events, and even market speculation. Let's start with supply and demand. If demand for oil goes up but supply doesn't keep pace, prices rise, and vice versa. Makes sense, right? But here's the kicker. This balance is heavily influenced by a group called OPEC, the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries. They control a huge chunk of the world's oil supply, and when they cut production, prices go up. When they increase production, prices tend to fall. Now, throw in some geopolitical tensions like conflicts in the Middle East or sanctions on major oil producers, and you get price spikes. Natural disasters can also cause disruptions. Remember the hurricanes that hit the Gulf of Mexico and knocked out oil platforms? Yep. That caused prices to rise, too. And finally, there's market speculation. Traders bet on what they think oil prices will do in the future, and this can add another layer of volatility. The result? Oil prices are constantly changing. All right, so what happens when oil prices rise? One of the first effects we see is inflation. Think about it. Oil is used in everything from transportation to manufacturing. When it gets more expensive, Companies have to pay more to get their goods delivered and to produce the things we buy. That cost is passed on to us, the consumers, in the form of higher prices. This is called cost-push inflation. For example, when oil prices are high, the cost of transporting goods increases, which can make everything more expensive, from the food we eat to the clothes we wear. And it doesn't stop there. If gas prices go up, so does the cost of heating your home and even your electricity bill in some cases. The tricky part is that when prices go up, workers may demand higher wages to keep up with the rising cost of living. And when wages go up, prices might rise even more, creating a wage price spiral that can push inflation even higher. And central banks like the Federal Reserve are always keeping an eye on this. If inflation starts to spiral, they might raise interest rates to cool things down. But raising interest rates can slow economic growth and even lead to higher unemployment. So as you can see, rising oil prices set off a chain reaction that affects the whole economy. Now let's talk about consumer spending. When oil prices rise, it doesn't just affect businesses. It hits our wallets, too. Gas prices at the pump go up, heating your home becomes more expensive, and suddenly, you have less money to spend on other things. That means fewer trips to restaurants, less shopping, and maybe even fewer vacations. And this reduction in spending doesn't just hurt consumers. It affects entire industries. Take the automotive industry, for example. When gas prices are high, people are less likely to buy gas-guzzling SUVs or trucks, which means car manufacturers see a drop in sales. And if fewer cars are being made, that can lead to layoffs and slow down other parts of the economy. The airline industry also feels the pinch. Airlines use a lot of fuel, and when oil prices rise, so do ticket prices. That means fewer people traveling, and that impacts tourism and hospitality industries too. Let's dig a little deeper into what happens to oil-producing economies when prices fluctuate. For countries like Saudi Arabia, Russia, and Venezuela, oil revenues make up a huge chunk of their national income. When prices are high, these economies thrive. Governments have more money to spend on infrastructure, social programs, and even military spending. But when prices crash, it's a whole different story. 
For example, Venezuela's economy has essentially collapsed, partly due to its reliance on oil exports and the crash in oil prices. The same goes for regions in the U.S. that are heavily dependent on oil production, like Texas or North Dakota. When oil prices drop, companies stop drilling, and thousands of people can lose their jobs. That can devastate local economies. And it's not just about the jobs. The U.S. shale oil industry is particularly sensitive to oil price changes because fracking is expensive. The break-even price for U.S. shale producers is around $45 to $55 per barrel. When prices drop below that, many companies can't afford to keep drilling, and that leads to, finally, let's talk about global trade. Oil is crucial for transporting goods around the world, so when oil prices rise, so do shipping costs. And when it costs more to ship goods, those higher costs get passed on to consumers, meaning prices go up for everything from electronics to groceries. For countries that rely on importing oil, like Japan or China, rising oil prices can hurt their trade balance. They end up spending more on oil imports, which puts pressure on their economies. On the flip side, oil exporting countries benefit when prices are high, as they make more money selling their oil on the global market. Even global supply chains are vulnerable to oil price shocks. Higher transportation costs mean higher prices for raw materials and finished goods. Some companies might even bring production closer to home to save on shipping costs when oil prices get too high. So, what's the takeaway here? Oil prices play a massive role in shaping the global economy. When they rise, we see higher inflation, reduced consumer spending, and challenges for oil importing nations. When they fall, consumers and certain industries benefit but oil-producing regions and economies can suffer. The bottom line is that fluctuations in oil prices create a domino effect, impacting everything from how much you pay at the pump to global trade flows. As we continue transitioning to renewable energy, these impacts may change over time, but for now, oil remains a key driver of economic growth and stability. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights into the world of economics and global markets. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.